Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how to configure a BTP. So BTP stands for VLAN Trunking Protocol. Um, BTP is something that you have to decide whether you're going to use it or not. At my at work, we don't really we don't use it. We're actually uh, all our switches are configured to uh, are configured <clears throat> as transparent mode. So let me share my screen and let me go ahead and share my screen. So here, VTP is a VT, is a layer two messaging protocol that maintains VLAN configuration consistency by managing the addition, deletion, and renaming of VLANs on a network-wide basis. <clears throat> so uh, these are all can be done from a central point of control or from a single switch. We have we have the <clears throat> VTP domain. So by default, uh, the switch is in the VTP no management domain state. So meaning there's no uh, VTP domain configured until you you know uh, you configure it you configure it or it receives an advertisement from a <clears throat> from another uh, switches. So you can go ahead and configure VLANs on a VTP server without specifying the domain name, and that's fine. But but the you know the VLAN will not be propagated uh, to other switches. So we have three different versions. Uh, by default, switches uh, based on my experience of oh, for. From what I've seen, uh, by default, VTP version is one, and two and three are disabled by default. And when you enable VTP version two on a device, every other devices or switches that are capable to support VTP version two will automatically enable version two as well. With version three, you have to manually configure it on each device. Let's talk about uh, the VTP modes. We have four different kinds of VTP modes. One is a server mode, client mode, transparent mode, and off mode. So like I said, no, that was VTP version. So uh, by default, VTP, I mean, server mode is enabled by default. Um, <clears throat> Yes, by default, server mode is enabled by default. And you know you can change VLAN configuration and have it propagated throughout the network. <clears throat> this is uh, provided that you know v, uh, the main name is also configured. In client mode is something that I mean with you cannot modify VLANs on a switch. That is configured as as a client mode or client mode, but you know the the switch can advertise, can send advertisements and listen advertisement from other switches, and the switch also acts as a VTP relay, meaning yeah it it you know advertises other, I mean advertises VTP VTP to other switches. And this is the mode that uh, we have configured at work, uh, transparent mode. So the switch, a switch that is configured as transparent mode, do not participate in VTP. But it, you know, it it advertise, it advertises VTP to other switches. Uh, last but not least is off mode. So Switches that are in VTP off mode uh, do not participate in VTP, and they, they don't advertise uh, VTP to other switches uh, either. <clears throat> so this is how you configure VTP. I have this topology here, uh, simple topology, switch one, switch two, and switch three. And 
I'm going to try to configure switch one as server mode and switch two as client mode and switch three as transparent mode. So let me go ahead and do that. So by default, like I said, um, server mode is enabled. So I'm not going to, or I can, you know, explicitly configure it. BTP mode server. A device mode already VTP server for VLANs, okay? VTP mode client and VTP mode transparent. <clears throat> Okay, done. And now I can go ahead and configure domain, the VTP domain. VTP domain will say Cisco. Yeah, so by default, uh, it's not configured. I'm and I'm going to use the default, I mean, the default version, which is version one. I'm not going to configure password, a password. So let me create a VLAN. So these are the default VLANs. So let me create a VLAN here and see if it will be propagated to switch to in this case because switch to is configured as client mode. And let me verify that here. Yeah, client. And this one is transparent, no, transparent. Okay, so I'm going to create a VLAN, let's say 30, name is test VTP done so I expect that this VLAN will be I mean it's it's now being propagated to uh, switch to let's verify that <clears throat> not yet let me check Okay, domain name is Cisco. Version is one. No, version is one here. And VTP operating mode is server. And configuration revision is one. So let me check. Ah, here. So I just took a few seconds. Now I see test BTP VLAN is, uh, is also configured on uh, automatically on switch two, but we do we should not see this in switch three because it is configured as transparent mode, which will not participate in the VTP in VTP basically. So if I check again. Yeah. Transparent mode, where is it? Here. Yeah, this is your this is the other commands you can use also to check VTP. And this is just a note um, before you that says that you know if you want to add a VTP client to domain, you have to make sure that that VTP client has a lower revision number or else it will uh, cause the other switches to delete their uh, VLANs. It could happen. 
but but uh, that yeah that could happen in version versions one and two but that's not necessarily true necessarily true for version three here all right so that's how you can uh, configure btp on a cisco switch thanks for watching and i'll see you next time